Movies have always been a source of inspiration, entertainment, and education for generations. Each film has its unique style, story, and message, which make it special and worth watching. However, what sets a great movie apart from the rest is the ability to create a memorable experience that leaves a lasting impression on the audience. From start to finish, this film had me captivated. The plot was engaging and kept me on the edge of my seat, with enough twists and turns to keep things interesting. The characters were well developed and had their own unique personalities that made them easy to root for. The acting was superb, with each actor bringing their A-game to the table and delivering convincing performances that made me forget they were even acting. The film's cinematography was top-notch, with stunning visuals and shots that added depth and dimension to the story. The soundtrack was also a standout feature perfectly complementing the action on screen and eliciting a range of emotions from the audience. One thing that particularly impressed me was the attention to detail. From the set design to the costume choices, everything felt carefully thought out and added to the overall atmosphere of the film. The pacing was also well executed, with just the right amount of action, humor, and drama to keep things moving along smoothly. Casting for roles in films and series is a fascinating process that requires a great deal of skill and expertise. It is the first and one of the most important steps in creating a movie or a TV show, as it can make or break the project. A successful casting can elevate a script to a whole new level, while a poor one can ruin it. Let's take a closer look at the casting process and what goes into making it successful. The first step in casting is to define the roles and the characteristics of the characters. This is done by the scriptwriters and the directors, who work together to create a detailed description of each character. They consider factors such as age, gender, personality traits, and physical appearance. This description is then used to create a casting breakdown, which is a document that is sent out to casting directors and agents. The next step is to select the right casting director. This is a crucial decision, as the casting director is responsible for finding the actors who will bring the characters to life. The casting director works closely with the director and the producers to understand the vision of the project, and to identify the type of actors that are needed. Once the casting director is chosen, they begin the search for actors. This can involve a variety of methods, including holding auditions, searching through talent databases, and reaching out to agents. The casting director may also attend theater performances and film festivals to scout for talent. When the casting director has a list of potential actors, they begin the audition process. This is a nerve-wracking experience for actors, as they must perform in front of a panel of judges who will decide whether or not they are right for the role. The audition process can vary, but it usually involves reading lines from the script and sometimes doing improvisation. After the auditions, the casting director and the producers review the performances and decide which actors are best suited for each role. They consider factors such as chemistry with other actors, ability to convey the character's emotions and personality, and overall performance. Once the actors are selected, they go through the contract negotiation process. This can involve a lot of back and forth between the actor's agents and the producers, as they work to agree on a salary and other contractual details. Once everything is agreed upon, the actors sign the contracts and the project moves forward. It's no secret that even the best actors and actresses make mistakes during filming. Sometimes they forget their lines, or their costume malfunctions, or they simply trip and fall. And when these mistakes happen, they can create some of the most memorable and hilarious moments in cinematic history. They're the unexpected moments of hilarity that make us love our favorite movies and TV shows even more. From flubbed lines to tripping over props, bloopers can range from mild mishaps to full-blown disasters. But why do we love them so much? Perhaps it's because bloopers humanize our favorite actors and actresses. They remind us that even the most talented and polished performers are still susceptible to making mistakes. And let's face it, seeing them laugh, curse, or break character can be downright endearing. But bloopers aren't just a source of entertainment for viewers, they're also a valuable tool for filmmakers. By studying the mistakes that occur during filming, directors and editors can identify areas where improvements can be made. And in some cases, bloopers can even inspire new scenes or dialogue that make it into the final cut. Of course, not all bloopers make it into the final cut. Some are simply too embarrassing or inappropriate to include. But thanks to the rise of DVD and Blu-ray releases, 
many bloopers that were once hidden away in the depths of studio archives are now readily available for fans to enjoy. When you see your favorite actors on screen, you may wonder what they do all day on set. You might picture them sipping lattes in their trailers, getting touch-ups from makeup artists, or rehearsing lines with their co-stars. But the truth is, actors are busy creatures, and there's a lot more that goes into making a movie or TV show than meets the eye. First and foremost, actors spend a lot of time preparing for their roles. This means researching the character they'll be playing, studying the script, and getting into the mindset of the person they're portraying. They might meet with the director and other cast members to discuss their characters and the story as a whole, and work with coaches to perfect their accents, physical movements, or other skills that their roles require. Once filming starts, actors are on set for long hours, often arriving before dawn and leaving well after sunset. They might spend hours shooting a single scene, repeating the same lines and movements over and over again until the director is satisfied. In between takes, they might review their lines, grab a snack, or chat with their co-stars to build chemistry and camaraderie. But filming isn't all about the glamorous moments you see on screen. Actors also spend a lot of time waiting. They might wait for the lighting to be set up, the camera to be adjusted, or for other scenes to be filmed before theirs. This downtime can be frustrating, but it's a necessary part of the process. Actors use this time to rest, review their lines, or simply observe what's happening on set. In addition to filming, actors might also spend time promoting their projects. This could involve interviews with journalists, appearances on talk shows, or attending premieres and events to promote their work. These activities can be exhausting, but they're a crucial part of getting the word out about a new movie or TV show. Filming safety is not just a matter of ticking boxes or following a set of rules. It's about ensuring that every member is able to work with complete peace of mind, knowing that their well-being is being taken care of. In a fast-paced and dynamic world of filmmaking, safety is crucial, and it can't be compromised. Think of it this way, you're on set, the cameras are rolling, and the actors are performing a particularly intense scene. Suddenly, you hear a loud crash, and you turn to see that a light has fallen from the ceiling, narrowly missing one of the actors. It's a heart-stopping moment, and it's one that no one wants to experience. That's why filming safety is so important. It's about creating an environment where accidents like this simply don't happen. It's about making sure that every piece of equipment is secure, every wire is properly insulated, and every crew member is trained to react quickly and effectively in an emergency. But filming safety isn't just about preventing accidents. It's also about creating an atmosphere where creativity can thrive. When you know that your safety is being taken care of, you're free to focus on your craft, whether that's acting, directing, or operating a camera. You can push yourself to new heights, knowing that you're in good hands. It's also essential that all crew members are properly trained and qualified for their roles. For example, camera operators should be trained in working at height and using harnesses, while electricians should be trained in working with electricity safely. By ensuring that everyone is properly trained, the risk of accidents and injuries can be greatly reduced. Costumes are an essential aspect of movies and series. They add to the overall visual appeal of the production, and they also help the audience connect with the characters and the story. Costume designers play an important role in the production process. They start their work by researching the time period, setting, and characters to create authentic and believable costumes. They consider the fabrics, colors, and functionality of each costume, taking into account the character's personality and the story's requirements. Costumes can be used to transport the audience to different time periods, and even alternate universes. They can create a sense of nostalgia or fear and can help the audience understand the character's motivations and personality. For example, in a medieval-themed movie, the costumes can help the audience understand the social hierarchy of the time. The royalty would wear elaborate and expensive clothing, while the peasants would wear simple garments. The costumes can also help establish the setting, making it easier for the audience to immerse themselves in the story. In a sci-fi movie, costumes can also be used to represent the futuristic world and culture of the story's setting. The costumes can reflect the advanced technology, alien races, and societal norms of the world the characters inhabit. They can range from sleek, metallic jumpsuits to elaborate, alien-inspired clothing. The futuristic costumes can also help create a sense of awe and wonder, 
transporting the audience to a world beyond our own. Superhero movie costumes are designed not only to reflect the character's superpowers but also to visually communicate their persona. The costumes can establish the character's identity, values, and motivations. For example, a superhero wearing a dark, brooding costume may signify their serious and focused personality. In contrast, a brightly colored costume may represent a more cheerful and optimistic personality. The design of the costume can also convey the character's cultural background, heritage, or personal preferences. Furthermore, costumes can also be used to create a sense of irony or humor in the story. A character wearing a costume that is unexpected or out of place can add to the comedic effect of a scene. The future of cinema is rapidly changing in the wake of the popularity of streaming services. As the world becomes more digitally connected and consumers demand instant gratification, it's no surprise that the traditional movie theater experience is facing stiff competition. So what could be the cinemas of the future? One thing is for sure, the cinema industry will have to adapt in order to survive. One possibility is that movie theaters will become more experiential, offering immersive and interactive experiences that go beyond just watching a film on a big screen. Imagine walking into a movie theater and being transported to another world entirely. With advancements in technology, this could become a reality. Think virtual reality headsets, sensory experiences, and interactive installations that allow viewers to feel like they're part of the action. The possibilities are endless, and the potential for creating unique, unforgettable experiences is enormous. But what about the traditional movie theater experience? Will it still have a place in the future of cinema? Absolutely. There will always be a market for the magic of sitting in a dark theater, surrounded by strangers, and experiencing a film together. However, the cinema industry will have to work harder to provide an experience that can't be replicated at home. One way movie theaters can do this is by offering more premium options, such as luxury seating, gourmet snacks, and exclusive events. Another possibility is that cinemas will partner with streaming services like Netflix to offer exclusive content that can only be seen on the big screen. Ultimately, the future of cinema will be shaped by the desires and expectations of consumers. With the rise of streaming services like Netflix, it's clear that people want convenience and access to content at their fingertips, but that doesn't mean the magic of the movies is dead. In fact, the potential for innovation and creativity is greater than ever before. So buckle up, grab your popcorn, and get ready for the ride. The future of cinema is sure to be an exciting one. Are credits necessary if no one is reading them? After all, why spend precious time and money on something that nobody will ever see or appreciate? It's a valid concern, but the answer is not as straightforward as you might think. Credits are an integral part of any film or television show. They serve as a way to acknowledge the hard work and dedication of the hundreds of people who contributed to the project. From the director and actors to the camera crew and sound technicians, every person plays a vital role in bringing a story to life. Credits allow us to recognize and appreciate the effort that goes into making our favorite movies and shows. But what if no one is reading them? Does that mean they're not necessary? Not necessarily. Just because people aren't actively seeking out the credits doesn't mean they're not important. Think about it. When was the last time you watched a movie and immediately turned it off as soon as the credits started rolling? Chances are, you probably let them play out in the background while you checked your phone or cleaned up the living room. The credits may not have been the main attraction, but they were still there, silently doing their job. Furthermore, credits serve a practical purpose beyond just recognition. They are often used as a way to document the legal and financial aspects of a production. Contracts, licensing agreements, and copyright notices are often included in the credits, making them an essential part of the legal record of a project. Without them, there could be serious legal and financial consequences. Credits can also be a way to honor the legacy of those who have passed away. Many films and TV shows include In Memoriam, segments in the credits to pay tribute to actors or crew members who have passed away. These segments serve as a touching reminder of the impact these individuals had on the project and the industry as a whole. In conclusion, while it may seem like credits are unnecessary if no one is reading them, they are actually an integral part of the film and television industry. They serve practical, symbolic, and networking purposes. 
and they acknowledge the hard work and dedication of the hundreds of people who contribute to each project. At the heart of the film industry lies the desire to tell stories that capture the imaginations of audiences around the world. However, with millions of dollars at stake, film companies are also engaged in a cutthroat competition to secure the best talent, the most innovative technology, and the most lucrative distribution deals. So, what do film companies do to get ahead? The answer lies in their approach to storytelling, marketing, and distribution. To stand out in a crowded marketplace, studios need to produce films that capture the imagination of audiences, generate buzz on social media. This means that film companies are constantly investing in new technologies, hiring the best talent, and developing unique concepts that will set them apart from their competitors. From visual effects to sound design, Every aspect of filmmaking is scrutinized and optimized to deliver the most immersive and engaging experience possible. But the competition doesn't stop there. Once a film is completed, studios need to figure out how to market it to the masses. This means creating eye-catching trailers, running ad campaigns on social media, and even partnering with brands to promote their films. The competition between film companies is what drives the industry forward. It's what keeps filmmakers on their toes, inspires creativity, and pushes the limits of what is possible. And for moviegoers, it means we get to enjoy an endless stream of amazing films and TV shows that transport us to other worlds. The process of making a TV show or movie is incredibly complex and involves many different stages, each of which takes time and expertise to complete. First, let's talk about TV shows. The length of time it takes to make a TV show can vary depending on a variety of factors. Some shows are produced on a weekly basis, with new episodes airing every week during the show's season. Other shows may be produced all at once and then released all at once on a streaming platform like Netflix or Amazon Prime Video. For weekly TV shows, the process typically begins several months before the first episode airs. The writers start by developing the show's concept and writing the script for the pilot episode. Once the pilot is greenlit, the writers will begin working on the rest of the season's episodes. This can take several months, as each episode must be carefully crafted and refined to ensure it fits within the overall story arc of the season. Once the scripts are completed, the show's production team will begin casting actors, scouting locations, and designing sets and costumes. This can take several more months, as every aspect of the show must be carefully planned and executed. The time it takes to make a movie depends on several factors, including the genre, the budget, the script, the crew, and the director's vision. However, on average, it takes about two to three years to make a movie from conception to release. The first step in making a movie is the scriptwriting process. This process can take anywhere from a few weeks to a few years, depending on the complexity of the story and the number of revisions needed. Once the script is complete, the next step is pre-production, where the crew is hired, the locations are scouted, and the budget is determined. The actual filming process can take anywhere from a few weeks to several months, depending on the size and complexity of the production. During this time, the crew works tirelessly to capture the director's vision on camera. From lighting to sound to special effects, every detail must be perfect to create a seamless cinematic experience. After the filming is complete, the post-production process begins. This includes editing, sound design, and visual effects. Post-production can take anywhere from a few months to a year, depending on the complexity of the film and the amount of special effects needed. Once the post-production process is complete, the movie is ready for release. However, before the public can see it, there are still several steps that need to be taken. These include marketing and promotion, film festivals, and distribution deals. All of these steps can take anywhere from a few months to a year or more. Lights dim, popcorn in hand, anticipation building as the opening credits roll. Watching a movie or TV show is a beloved pastime for many, but there are times when it's best to just press stop and move on. How can you tell when a movie or show is just not worth your time? Here are some signs to watch out for. First and foremost, if the plot doesn't grab you within the first 15 minutes, it's probably not going to get any better. We've all been guilty of sticking with a movie or show, hoping it will improve, but more often than not, it just becomes a waste of time. If you're not hooked early on, it's time to switch to something else. 
If you find yourself checking your phone or getting distracted while watching, it's a sign that the movie or show isn't holding your attention. You may be tempted to multitask, but if you're not fully invested in the story, you'll miss out on key details. Finally, pay attention to the overall tone of the movie or show. If it's too dark, violent, or depressing, it may not be worth your time. You don't want to leave a movie or show feeling worse than when you started. Choosing a movie or TV show can be a daunting task, but by considering your mood, interests, reviews, and recommendations, you can find the perfect pick for your next viewing experience. So why settle for the same old thing when there's a whole world of entertainment out there waiting for you to explore? Imagine sitting in a darkened movie theater, watching the latest blockbuster on the big screen. You're fully immersed in the story, surrounded by the sights and sounds of the movie, feeling like you're right in the middle of the action. Now, take that experience and multiply it by a hundred. That's the power of virtual reality. Virtual reality technology has already made a significant impact on the entertainment industry. With virtual reality, you can experience games, concerts, and even travel to far-off places without ever leaving your living room. But what about cinema? How can virtual reality change the way we watch movies and TV shows? Virtual reality can offer a fully immersive experience, where you're no longer just watching a movie, you're inside it. With a headset, you can look around the scene, interact with characters, and even explore the environment. Imagine watching a movie, where you can turn your head and see the shark or dinosaur swimming right next to you. It's a completely different experience from watching on a flat screen. Secondly, virtual reality can offer a level of interactivity that traditional cinema cannot. You can choose your own path through the story. You could follow one character's journey or explore different parts of the movie's world. This would allow for endless possibilities and a unique experience every time you watch. Finally, virtual reality can offer a new level of creativity for filmmakers. They can create movies specifically designed for virtual reality, where the audience is an active participant in the story. However, there are some challenges that need to be addressed before VR becomes a mainstream technology in cinema. One of the biggest hurdles is the cost. VR headsets can be expensive, and not everyone can afford to invest in the latest technology. Despite these challenges, the potential benefits of VR in cinema are too significant to ignore. Virtual reality has already proven its value in other industries. And it's only a matter of time before it becomes a staple in the world of cinema. In the future, we could see virtual reality cinemas popping up all over the world, offering moviegoers a completely new and exciting way to experience their favorite films. Filmmakers will have the opportunity to create immersive, interactive, and personalized movie experiences that will keep audiences coming back for more. The future of cinema is exciting, and virtual reality is sure to be a big part of it. Movies have been a significant part of our culture for over a century, entertaining and transporting us to other worlds and times. However, many people argue that movies used to be better in the past, and it's hard to disagree with them. There's a certain charm and magic in classic movies that modern films seem to lack. One reason for this sentiment is that movies from the past had more depth and substance. Filmmakers used to focus more on storytelling, characters, and themes that resonated with audiences. They didn't rely solely on flashy special effects or big-name actors to sell tickets. Instead, they crafted compelling narratives that captivated viewers and left a lasting impression. Another reason is that the film industry was less commercialized back then. Studios took risks and allowed directors and writers to have more creative freedom, resulting in a diverse array of films with unique perspectives and styles. Nowadays, it seems that everything is formulaic, with studios churning out cookie-cutter movies designed to appeal to the widest possible audience. Furthermore, the technology of the past played a significant role in creating a sense of magic and wonder. Back then, filmmakers had to rely on practical effects and practical stunts, which required ingenuity and creativity to pull off. Nostalgia may also be a factor in why people say that movies used to be better. Classic movies evoke a sense of nostalgia for a time when life was simpler, and the world seemed more magical. We remember the movies of our childhood with fondness and view them through rose-colored glasses, making them seem better than they actually were. While modern films have their merits, it's hard to argue that they capture the same magic and charm as the movies of the past. 
Have you ever stopped to wonder where all the money comes from to bring your favorite TV shows and films to life? It's a question that's puzzled many, and the answer is both fascinating and surprising. First off, it's important to understand that making a TV show or film is no small feat it takes a lot of time, effort, and, of course, money. So, where does that money come from? One source is the studios themselves. Many studios have financial backing to fund their own productions. They can afford to invest millions of dollars into a single project and hope to see a return on their investment, in the form of box office receipts or streaming revenue. Another source is independent financiers. These are wealthy individuals or companies that invest in films or TV shows in the hopes of making a profit. They often have a passion for the arts and are willing to take a risk on a project they believe in. Many of them are financed by production companies who then sell the rights to networks and streaming platforms. This can involve a complex web of negotiations and deals. For example, a production company might approach channels with a pilot episode, hoping to secure funding for a full series. If the network is interested, they might offer a licensing fee or agree to co-finance the project. Alternatively, some shows are financed entirely by a streaming platform, such as Netflix or Amazon Prime, who then retain the rights to the show. Another way that filmmakers can finance their projects is through film festivals. Many festivals offer financing opportunities or connections to potential investors for winning films. Additionally, a film that receives positive buzz at a festival can generate interest from distributors who might be willing to finance a wider release. Of course, some of the biggest productions in TV and film are financed by major studios with deep pockets. These studios have access to vast sums of money and can afford to take on the financial risk of producing big-budget films and TV shows. However, even studios have to carefully consider which projects they choose to finance, as there is no guarantee of a return on their investment. Welcome to the world of entertainment in the 21st century, where computer graphics have become an indispensable part of the filmmaking and TV industry. From the breathtaking landscapes to the realistic dinosaurs, computer graphics have revolutionized the way we tell stories on screen, but why has the use of computer graphics become so prevalent? Simply put, it's because they allow filmmakers to create things that are impossible or prohibitively expensive to do in real life. Want to show an alien invasion of Earth? With computer graphics, it's no problem. Want to recreate a historical event like the sinking of the Titanic? Computer graphics can help make it happen, but it's not just about creating things that are impossible in real life. Computer graphics can also help make things look more real. For example, imagine you're shooting a scene in a city, but it's too expensive to shut down streets and bring in all the people and cars you need for a realistic looking shot. Computer graphics can also be used to create virtual sets, which can be used to film scenes in locations that are too dangerous or impractical to shoot in. With computer graphics, you can create a digital version of the city and add in all the people and cars you need, giving you a more convincing scene. Another reason why computer graphics are so prevalent is that they save time and money. In the old days, filmmakers would have to build elaborate sets and models to create their vision on screen. This would take a lot of time and resources. But with computer graphics, you can create everything you need digitally, which can save a lot of time and money. But despite the challenges, computer graphics have become an integral part of the entertainment industry, and it's hard to imagine a world without them. From epic battles to stunning visual effects, computer graphics have allowed us to tell stories in ways that were once impossible. Movies or TV shows? The eternal question that plagues the minds of entertainment lovers everywhere. Both formats have their own unique appeal, but which is better? The answer is not as simple as one might think. It all depends on what you're looking for. Movies have always been the go-to format for a night of entertainment. They offer a complete story in a short period of time, usually lasting no more than two or three hours. This means that the story has to be concise and to the point, leaving little room for character development or intricate plot twists. However, the limited time frame also means that movies have to be action-packed and thrilling from start to finish. They have to grab the viewer's attention and keep it until the very end. But don't count out TV shows just yet. With a longer runtime, TV shows have the unique ability to fully develop characters and storylines over the course of multiple seasons. We become invested in the lives of the characters, watching them grow and change in ways that movies simply can't match. 
And with the rise of streaming services, we can now binge watch entire seasons in one sitting, immersing ourselves in a world for hours on end. Of course, there are drawbacks to both formats. Movies can often feel rushed, with important details left out due to time constraints. And while TV shows have more time to flesh out storylines, they can also suffer from filler episodes that do little to advance the plot. Plus, with so many streaming options available, it can be overwhelming to decide what to watch next. Each format offers something unique and valuable, and it ultimately comes down to personal preference. Whether you're a fan of the grandeur of the big screen or the depth of character development in a TV show, there's no denying that both forms of entertainment have their own magic. Despite the countless studies, surveys, and algorithms used to analyze consumer behavior, predicting success in the entertainment industry is a notoriously tricky business. But here's the good news, we can make educated guesses based on certain factors that have historically been linked to success. For instance, big-name actors or directors attached to a project often draw attention and excitement from audiences. A strong marketing campaign can also generate buzz and anticipation, Another factor is the genre of the production. Certain genres like action, comedy, and drama have broad appeal and tend to perform well. However, even within these genres, there can be variations in success. For example, a romantic comedy might be a hit while an action comedy might fall flat. It's also worth considering the current cultural climate. Productions that touch on relevant social or political issues often generate conversation and interest. Of course, there are exceptions to every rule. Some productions with big names, huge marketing campaigns, and popular genres still flop at the box office or fail to capture audiences' attention. And sometimes, a production with no big names, little marketing, and a niche genre can become a surprise hit. However, it's worth noting that the rise of streaming services has added a new layer of complexity to predicting success. These services rely on data-driven insights to make decisions about what content to produce or acquire. By analyzing viewership data and user behavior, they can identify patterns and trends that may indicate what audiences are interested in. There's no denying it, actors are some of the highest paid professionals in the entertainment industry. While some actors command massive paychecks that reach into the tens of millions of dollars, others struggle to make ends meet. In fact, the vast majority of actors earn very little money from their craft, with only a select few reaching the upper echelons of fame and fortune. So what determines an actor's salary? There are a variety of factors that come into play, including their level of experience, the size and scope of the project they're working on, and even their personal brand and reputation. But what about up-and-coming actors who haven't yet achieved that level of fame and recognition? Well, their salaries can vary widely depending on the project they're working on. Independent films, for example, often have much smaller budgets than blockbuster movies, which means actors may need to take a pay cut in order to be involved in the project. And then there are the actors who work in theater, where salaries can be even more unpredictable. While some Broadway stars can make upwards of $100,000 per week, Many actors in regional theaters or off-Broadway productions earn much less, sometimes as little as a few hundred dollars per week. Of course, actors aren't the only ones earning money in the entertainment industry. Directors, producers, and screenwriters also command high salaries. And even the crew members who work behind the scenes can earn a decent living. But there's no denying that actors are the public face of the industry, and as such, they often bear the brunt of criticism when salaries are discussed. It's not just about the size of the paycheck, either. Actors may also negotiate for additional perks such as a percentage of the profits, bonuses for hitting certain milestones, or even ownership rights in the production. Traditionally, actors have been paid a flat fee for their work. This fee would be negotiated before the production began, and the actor would receive it regardless of how successful the project turned out to be. But in recent years, a new trend has emerged, paying actors a percentage of the profits. On the surface, this might seem like a fairer way of compensating actors. After all, if the project does well, then the actors who worked on it should share in that success. But as with most things in the entertainment industry, it's not quite that simple. For starters, not every project is guaranteed to make a profit. In fact, many projects never make back their production costs, let alone turn a profit. 
In these cases, the actors who worked on the project would be left with nothing, even if they had put in months of hard work. Despite these challenges, many actors are still willing to take the risk of being paid a percentage of the profits. For one thing, it can be a great way to earn more money if the project does well. But beyond that, it can also be a way for actors to demonstrate their faith in a project and show that they're willing to put in the hard work to make it a success. When a movie fails to make its budget, it can have serious consequences for everyone involved. First and foremost, the studio that produced the film will take a financial hit. They've invested millions of dollars in a project that hasn't paid off, and they'll be scrambling to recoup their losses. This can lead to layoffs, budget cuts, and even bankruptcy in some cases. But it's not just the studio that suffers when a movie fails. The actors, directors, and crew members who worked on the project may also face repercussions. A failed movie can damage their reputations and make it more difficult for them to get future work. The impact of a failed movie goes beyond just the financial losses, though. It can also have a profound effect on the industry as a whole. If too many movies fail to make their budgets, investors may become wary of putting their money into new projects. This can lead to a decrease in the number of films being produced, and a loss of creativity in the industry. So, what causes a movie to fail? There are many factors at play, including poor marketing, bad timing, and weak reviews. Sometimes, a movie just doesn't resonate with audiences the way the filmmakers had hoped. Other times, external factors like a global pandemic can completely derail a film's chances of success. But just because a movie fails to make its budget doesn't mean it's a complete disaster. Some films have gone on to become cult classics, beloved by audiences long after their initial release. And even if a movie isn't a critical or commercial success, the experience of making it can still be valuable for everyone involved. In the end, the movie industry is a gamble. Every time a studio invests millions of dollars in a project, they're taking a risk. Sometimes that risk pays off, and other times it doesn't. But even when a movie fails to make its budget, it's important to remember that there are always lessons to be learned, and new opportunities on the horizon. One of the most surprising things that we tend to miss is the use of color. Filmmakers use color in various ways to enhance the story's emotion and atmosphere. For example, warm colors like red, orange, and yellow create a sense of warmth and excitement, while cooler tones like blue and green create a calm and serene mood. These colors can be used to signify character traits or even foreshadow events. Also, one of the most surprising things that we tend to miss is the use of foreshadowing. Filmmakers often use subtle hints throughout the movie or TV show to hint at what's to come. This can be done through dialogue, visual cues, or even background details. These hints are often missed on the first viewing but become clear on subsequent viewings. Gone are the days of bulky cameras and expensive film stock. Today's filmmakers have access to high-quality digital cameras, which are lightweight and easy to use. This allows them to capture stunning visuals and tell their stories in ways that were once impossible. But it's not just the technology that's changing. The way we tell stories has also evolved. Today's filmmakers are more diverse than ever before, bringing new perspectives and fresh ideas to the industry. They are telling stories that were once considered taboo and are challenging traditional narratives. Filmmakers from different backgrounds are now being given the opportunity to tell their stories and share their unique perspectives. This has not only led to more diverse and representative content but has also allowed for a deeper understanding and empathy towards different cultures and experiences. Movies and TV shows have always been a powerful medium of storytelling and entertainment. But beyond their primary purpose, they also have the power to influence the behavior, opinions, and lifestyles of viewers in different parts of the world. From shaping political views to setting fashion trends, media has the ability to impact our lives in a myriad of ways. One of the most significant ways in which movies and TV shows influence viewers is by creating cultural icons and heroes. These characters become role models for viewers, shaping their values and attitudes towards different aspects of life. Another way in which media influences viewers is by shaping their perception of the world. News and current affairs programs have the power to sway public opinion on various issues, from political ideologies to social movements. Similarly, 
fictional movies and TV shows can also create stereotypes and prejudices that can influence the way viewers perceive different cultures and races. The impact of cultural icons and heroes extends beyond entertainment and can have real-world consequences. For instance, the representation of different cultures, races, and genders on screen can influence societal attitudes towards these groups. Positive representation can challenge stereotypes and promote empathy, while negative representation can perpetuate harmful biases and discrimination. Furthermore, cultural icons and heroes can also influence consumer behavior, particularly in the fashion and beauty industry. For instance, the popularity of a particular hairstyle, clothing item, or makeup trend on screen can lead to an increase in sales of these products. Similarly, the portrayal of certain lifestyles and values on screen can shape consumer choices, such as the decision to adopt a vegetarian or vegan lifestyle. While actors and actresses may hog the limelight, it's the directors who are the true backbone of any movie. They are the ones who breathe life into a script and translate it into a visual masterpiece that captivates audiences. However, this is not an easy task. Directors face numerous challenges that can make or break their movie. One of the biggest challenges faced by directors is managing the logistics of the shoot. This involves coordinating with numerous departments such as the camera crew, sound department, lighting team, and more. Ensuring that all the equipment is in place and functioning optimally is a daunting task that requires immense attention to detail. Any technical glitch can delay filming, leading to a budget overrun and an overall loss of time and resources. Another challenge faced by directors is managing the actors. While actors are trained professionals, they can be temperamental and unpredictable. Some actors may not show up on time or may not be in the right frame of mind to deliver their lines. In such situations, directors need to be patient and diplomatic, using their people skills to motivate the actors and get them back on track. Another challenge faced by directors is managing the budget. Filmmaking is an expensive endeavor, and directors need to ensure that they stay within budget while still delivering a high-quality film. This requires careful planning and budgeting, keeping a close eye on expenses, and being willing to make tough decisions when necessary. When we think about movie directors, we often imagine them sitting comfortably in their director's chairs, barking out orders to their cast and crew as they bring their cinematic vision to life. But what we don't often think about is the immense pressure and stress that comes with being a film director. The long hours, the tight deadlines, the constant problem solving, all while trying to maintain a creative vision can take a serious toll on even the most seasoned directors. And when things don't go according to plan, the disappointment and frustration can quickly turn into aggression. They may snap at their cast and crew, lash out at the production team, or even throw objects in a fit of rage. It's not uncommon for directors to become so consumed by their vision that they lose sight of the bigger picture, and their behavior can become erratic and unpredictable. In recent years, the entertainment industry has seen a remarkable trend in remaking classic movies and TV shows. From beloved childhood favorites to cult classics, remakes seem to be everywhere these days. This surge in remakes has sparked a debate among viewers and critics alike, with some praising the new interpretations and others criticizing them as lazy attempts at cashing in on nostalgia. So, what's driving this trend? One factor is undoubtedly the power of nostalgia. We all have memories of watching certain movies or shows with family and friends, and the opportunity to revisit those memories can be irresistible. Remakes allow us to relive those experiences while enjoying modern production values and updated storylines, but nostalgia alone cannot explain the widespread appeal of remakes. Another reason for their popularity is the way they can breathe new life into familiar stories. A great remake can take a beloved classic and make it feel fresh and relevant for a new generation. By updating the setting, characters, or themes, a remake can tap into current cultural trends and connect with younger viewers in ways that the original may not have. Of course, not all remakes are created equal. Some are poorly executed and fail to capture the magic of the original. The best remakes strike a balance between honoring the source material and bringing something new to the table. The recent surge in remakes is a complex phenomenon that speaks to our nostalgia. Our desire for fresh takes on familiar stories. Whether you love them or hate them, remakes are here to stay. And it will be fascinating to see how they continue to evolve in the years to come. 
Movies and TV shows have the power to transport us into magical worlds of love and romance, where everything seems perfect and everyone lives happily ever after. We watch as the lead characters meet and fall in love, overcoming all obstacles to be together. We root for them, we cry with them, and we laugh with them. The truth is, movies and TV shows often distort our understanding of love and relationships. They create an unrealistic image of what love should look like and what it takes to make a relationship work. We see couples who never fight, and who seem to be on the same page about everything. But in real life, relationships are much more complicated than that. In movies and TV shows, we also see the idea that love conquers all. That if two people love each other, nothing else matters. But in reality, love is not enough to sustain a relationship. It takes communication, compromise, and hard work to make a relationship work. We rarely see these elements portrayed in movies and TV shows. Another problem with the way love and relationships are portrayed in movies and TV shows is that they often promote the idea of the one. The idea that there is only one person out there for us, and if we don't find that person, we will never be truly happy. This is a dangerous myth because it puts pressure on us to find our soulmate and can lead to disappointment and unhappiness if we don't. Movies and TV shows also tend to romanticize unhealthy relationship behaviors, such as jealousy and possessiveness. We see characters who are overly jealous or controlling and are portrayed as being passionately in love. This sends the message that these behaviors are normal and acceptable in a relationship, which is far from the truth. Another way that love is portrayed in movies and TV shows is as an all-consuming passion that takes over the characters' lives. We see characters who are willing to do anything for love, including sacrificing their own well-being or breaking the law. While this can make for an exciting storyline, it's not a healthy way to approach relationships. Love in movies and TV shows is often portrayed as a magical force that can conquer all obstacles and bring two people together, in a perfect romance. We see love stories that span generations, that are forbidden by society or culture, and that overcome impossible odds. In many romantic movies, we see a formulaic storyline that involves the two main characters meeting and falling in love, facing a conflict or challenge that threatens their relationship, and then ultimately finding a way to be together. This storyline can be comforting to watch because it gives us hope that true love can conquer all. However, it's important to recognize that the love stories we see on screen are often exaggerated or idealized versions of what real-life relationships are like. In real life, relationships involve much more than just love. They require trust, communication, and compromise, and they are often messy and complicated. Making a film is no small feat from the scriptwriting to the casting, every step requires effort and, of course, money. And as we all know, the bigger the film, the bigger the budget. But with the rise of indie films and the democratization of filmmaking equipment, is it possible to make films cheaper without compromising on quality? Let's take a look at some of the costs that go into making a film. First and foremost, there's the cost of talent. A-list actors and directors don't come cheap, and their salaries can account for a significant portion of the budget. Then there are the production costs, costumes, sets, special effects, and so on. And let's not forget about the marketing costs, which can easily run into the millions of dollars. But perhaps the biggest game changer in making films cheaper has been the rise of digital technology. With the advent of affordable digital cameras and editing software, filmmakers no longer need to rely on expensive film stock or post-production facilities. This has opened up a whole new world of possibilities for independent filmmakers who can now produce high-quality films, with relatively low budgets. Of course, there will always be big-budget blockbusters that require millions of dollars to make. But the democratization of filmmaking has given rise to a new generation of filmmakers who are using creativity and resourcefulness to produce films that are just as compelling, if not more so, than their big-budget counterparts. Moreover, making films cheaper doesn't necessarily mean sacrificing artistic vision. In fact, having a limited budget can force filmmakers to be more creative and think outside the box. They can explore unconventional storytelling methods, use practical effects instead of expensive CGI, and rely on sound design to create atmosphere instead of expensive set pieces. This can lead to films that are more original and memorable, as they stand out from the crowd of big-budget blockbusters. Hollywood studios tend to play it safe and stick to tried-and-true formulas, as they are reluctant to invest millions of dollars in untested concepts. 
but indie filmmakers can afford to take chances and push the boundaries of the medium, this can lead to groundbreaking films that challenge our assumptions and expand our horizons. Have you ever found yourself absolutely hooked on a new TV show, eagerly awaiting the next season, only to be disappointed to find out that there won't be one? It's a frustrating experience, and one that has become all too common in recent years. So why do shows end after just one season? Let's explore some of the reasons behind this phenomenon. One of the most common reasons for a show to end after just one season is poor ratings. It's no secret that TV networks are in the business of making money. And if a show isn't bringing in the viewership numbers they want, it's unlikely to get renewed for another season. In today's crowded TV landscape, where viewers have countless options for what to watch, it can be difficult for a new show to break through and find an audience. Another factor that can contribute to a show ending after one season is creative differences between the show's creators and the network. A show may have a unique vision and style that sets it apart from other shows on TV, but if the network executives don't agree with that vision, they may choose to cancel the show rather than take a chance on something new and different. Sometimes, a show may end after one season simply because it was only intended to be a limited series. In this case, the show's creators may have had a specific story they wanted to tell, and once that story was complete, there was no need for additional seasons. Limited series have become increasingly popular in recent years, and for good reason. They offer a chance for creators to tell a complete and compelling story within a set number of episodes, without the pressure of having to come up with new plotlines to sustain multiple seasons. Limited series can also attract big-name actors who may not be interested in committing to a long-running TV series, but are excited by the prospect of working on a shorter, more focused project. Another advantage of limited series is that they can be more experimental and daring than traditional TV shows. With only a handful of episodes to work with, creators can take risks and push boundaries in ways that might not be possible with a show that is intended to run for multiple seasons. Limited series can tackle complex subject matter, and can be more visually and narratively ambitious than other TV shows. Have you ever watched a film or TV show and found yourself completely immersed in the world on screen? The characters, the story, and the dialogue may all be important elements. But it's the scenery that can truly transport you to another place and time. Scenery is more than just a backdrop to the action. It's an essential part of the storytelling process, a visual representation of the world the characters inhabit. The right scenery can create a mood, evoke emotions, and add depth to the narrative. Imagine a western without the sweeping vistas of the American frontier, or a sci-fi movie without the futuristic landscapes that transport you to another world. The scenery helps to create a sense of place and time, drawing you into the story and making you believe in the world on screen. But it's not just about creating a believable world. Scenery can also be used to add symbolism and meaning to the story. Think of the ominous, foreboding castle in a horror film, or the idyllic, sun-drenched countryside in a romantic comedy. These settings tell us something about the tone and themes of the story. Scenery can also be used to reflect the emotional state of the characters. A bleak, rainy landscape might mirror a character's sadness or despair, while a bright, sunny scene might indicate their happiness or hopefulness. One of the great things about scenery is that it can be used in so many different ways. It can be used to create tension, to set the mood, or simply to make a scene more visually interesting. The possibilities are endless. Of course, it's not just about what's on screen. The right soundtrack can enhance the scenery and bring it to life. The sound of waves crashing on a beach or the chirping of birds in a forest can create a sense of atmosphere that draws you further into the story. When we watch a movie or a TV show, we don't usually think about the hard work that goes on behind the scenes. We focus on the actors and their performances, but there's a whole team of people working tirelessly to make everything look perfect. One of the most important members of that team is the cameraman, and they face a multitude of difficulties during filming that we never even consider. First and foremost, cameramen have to deal with the physical demands of their job. They have to be on their feet for hours on end, carrying heavy equipment and moving it around to get the perfect shot. They have to navigate tricky terrain, climb stairs, and contort themselves into strange positions to capture the right angle. All of this requires stamina, strength, and flexibility. But physical demands are just the tip of the iceberg. 
Cameramen also have to contend with the unpredictable nature of their subject matter. They may have to film in extreme weather conditions, from scorching heat to freezing cold. They may have to shoot in challenging environments like deserts, jungles, or underwater. They may have to deal with difficult lighting conditions, such as harsh sunlight, low light, or rapidly changing light. All of this requires technical knowledge and quick thinking. Then there are the creative challenges. Cameramen have to work closely with directors to capture the right mood and tone for each scene. They have to be able to think on their feet and come up with creative solutions to unexpected problems. They have to be able to adapt their style to match the vision of the project they're working on. Despite the numerous difficulties that cameramen face during filming, they remain passionate about their craft. They know that the footage they capture can make or break a scene, and they're determined to get it right. They're constantly pushing themselves to improve their skills and develop new techniques. Whether it's a car chase, a fight scene, or a dramatic stunt, these scenes require split-second timing and precision. Cameramen have to be able to follow the action smoothly and capture it from multiple angles, all while keeping themselves and their equipment out of harm's way. They know that the footage they capture can make or break a project, and they're committed to delivering the best possible results. When you think about the most memorable scenes from your favorite movies and TV shows, what comes to mind? Is it the stunning visual effects or the award-winning performances? While these elements certainly play a vital role in creating a cinematic masterpiece, there is another element that often goes unnoticed but is equally important, the soundtrack. The power of music in film and TV shows cannot be overstated. In fact, it can be argued that the soundtrack is just as important as the script, acting, and cinematography. One of the key roles of the soundtrack is to provide emotional cues to the audience. Whether it's the melancholic melody of a piano during a somber scene or the upbeat rhythm of a pop song during a lighthearted moment, the music can make us feel what the characters are feeling. It can elicit empathy and even provoke laughter or tears. Moreover, the soundtrack can also serve as a plot device. It can foreshadow events, create tension, and signify the passage of time. For example, a sudden shift in the music from calm to intense can signal an impending danger, heightening the audience's anticipation. In fact, soundtracks can even have an impact beyond the screen. They can become a part of popular culture, with fans listening to them on repeat and incorporating them into their daily lives. For example, when a character is in danger, the music will become more intense and fast-paced. This creates a sense of urgency and makes the viewer feel like they are right there with the character, trying to escape the danger. On the other hand, when a character is experiencing a moment of reflection or sadness, the music will become slower and more melancholic. This helps to create a sense of empathy and makes the viewer feel like they are sharing in the character's emotions. Movies and TV shows have the power to captivate us, to transport us to different worlds and immerse us in stories that we might never have otherwise experienced. Yet, as we all know, not all movies and TV shows are created equal. Some leave us feeling bored and uninterested, wondering why we wasted our time in the first place. So why do some movies and TV shows fall short in capturing our attention? The answer lies in the complex mix of factors that go into creating a truly captivating story. One of the main reasons why some movies and TV shows are boring is simply that they fail to engage us emotionally. A great story needs to have characters that we care about, with motivations that we understand and can relate to. Without this emotional connection, we simply don't care about what happens next. It's like watching a sports game between two teams you don't care about, there's no investment, no reason to keep watching. Another reason why some movies and TV shows fail to capture our attention is that they lack a sense of urgency or tension. A great story needs to have stakes, something that the characters stand to gain or lose. Without this sense of tension, there's no reason to keep watching. It's like watching a movie where you already know the ending, there's no surprise, no anticipation. But perhaps the most important factor in whether a movie or TV show is boring or not is pacing. A great story needs to be well-paced, with a steady rhythm that keeps us engaged and interested. If a story moves too slowly, we get bored. If it moves too quickly, we don't have time to process what's happening and become overwhelmed. Pacing is a delicate balance, and it's one that many movies and TV shows fail to get right. Of course, there are many other factors that can contribute to a movie or TV show being boring, poor writing, bad acting, uninteresting cinematography, and so on. 
but at the end of the day, it's the emotional connection, the sense of urgency, and the pacing that make or break a story. Movies and TV shows are some of the most popular forms of entertainment worldwide. And it's no secret that they often need to be adapted to other languages to reach broader audiences. Firstly, the process of adapting a movie or TV show to another language requires more than just a simple translation of the script. Translators must take into account cultural nuances and differences, idioms, colloquialisms, and even jokes that may not translate well. This means that a lot of creative work must go into the translation to ensure that the humor, emotions, and overall impact of the original content are conveyed in the target language. One common approach to adaptation is voice dubbing, which involves replacing the original audio track with a new one in the target language. In this case, the new audio track is recorded by voice actors who match the lip movements of the actors on screen. Dubbing can be a challenging task as the voice actors must not only convey the emotions of the original actors but also match the tone and pacing of the original audio. It requires an excellent command of the target language, as well as acting skills to make the dubbed version sound as natural as possible. Another approach is subtitling, where a written translation of the original audio is displayed at the bottom of the screen. Subtitles are popular in many countries, and they allow viewers to enjoy the original audio and the performances of the actors. However, subtitling also requires careful attention to detail, as the text must be timed correctly with the on-screen action and not take away from the viewer's focus on the visuals. While there may be some changes made to the script, the goal is always to stay as true to the original as possible while still making it enjoyable for the target audience. But when done well, it can provide viewers with an engaging and entertaining experience, regardless of their language or culture. Moreover, the process of adapting movies and TV shows to other languages has become increasingly important, as the global entertainment industry has expanded, with the rise of streaming services and the ability to reach audiences around the world. Content creators and distributors must ensure that their content can reach as many people as possible. This has led to an increased demand for high-quality translations and adaptations, which has created a new market for language professionals and studios. The adaptation of movies and TV shows to other languages is a complex and demanding process. That involves much more than just a simple translation of the script. It requires creativity, cultural sensitivity, and a deep understanding of the target audience to ensure that the essence of the original material is preserved, while still making it enjoyable for the local audience. With the continued growth of the global entertainment industry, the demand for high-quality adaptations and translations is only set to increase in the future, making it an exciting. Stuntmen in movies and TV shows are the unsung heroes of the entertainment industry. They are the ones who make the impossible possible, the ones who bring action sequences to life, and the ones who put their lives on the line to make sure the stars look good on screen. These individuals are highly trained professionals who undergo rigorous physical training and practice to ensure their safety during these daring feats. But stunt work isn't just about performing daring stunts. Stuntmen also play a crucial role in creating believable fight scenes. From the choreography to the execution, these individuals work tirelessly to ensure that the audience is fully immersed in the action on screen. Their work is so seamless that it's often hard to tell where the actor ends and the stuntman begins. Despite the incredible skill and bravery required for their work, stuntmen are often overlooked and underappreciated. They put their bodies on the line to create incredible moments of entertainment, but rarely receive the recognition they deserve. What they do is anything but easy. They spend hours, days, even weeks preparing for a single stunt, making sure every move is calculated and rehearsed to perfection. And when it comes time to perform, there's no room for error. Every stunt is a calculated risk. That's why stuntmen train rigorously and work with the best safety equipment available, from harnesses and padding to airbags and wires. But despite the risks, stuntmen love what they do. They have a passion for action and a love of adventure that drives them to push the limits of what's possible. In every great film or television series, there is always a cast of characters that we root for, admire, and identify with. But what about the characters that we hate? These are the negative characters, and they play an essential role in captivating audiences and keeping them on the edge of their seats. Negative characters are the antithesis of the hero. 
They are often the ones that create the tension and conflict in the story, whether it's through their scheming and manipulation, their aggression, or their twisted worldviews. And yet, we can't help but be fascinated by them. Perhaps it's because they represent a dark side of human nature that we are all capable of but rarely acknowledge. Or maybe it's simply the thrill of watching someone who operates outside of societal norms and rules. Regardless of the reason, negative characters have become an essential part of storytelling. What makes a great negative character? It's not just about being evil. The best negative characters are those that have depth and complexity, who we can understand on some level even if we don't agree with their actions. They have a backstory that explains their motivations, and their actions are often driven by a sense of desperation, pain, or trauma. They are fully fleshed out characters, not just cardboard cutouts designed to be booed at. Negative characters also provide an opportunity for actors to showcase their range and talent. Playing a villain or anti-hero allows actors to explore darker emotions and motivations that they might not get to explore in more traditional heroic roles. Playing a negative character can be a double-edged sword for actors. On one hand, it can be a great opportunity to showcase their range and talent, as well as to connect with audiences in a new and exciting way. On the other hand, it can also be difficult to shake off the negative associations that come with playing a villain or anti-hero. This phenomenon can be both a blessing and a curse for actors. On the one hand, it can help to establish their legacy and cement their place in popular culture. On the other hand, it can also limit their opportunities and make it difficult for them to be taken seriously in other roles. That's why it's so important for actors to carefully consider the types of roles they take on, and to make sure they have a diverse range of characters in their portfolio. Ultimately, though, it's the mark of a truly great actor to be able to transcend their negative characters and create new and memorable performances that stand on their own. Just because an actor is associated with a particular role doesn't mean they can't break out of that mold and surprise audiences with something completely different. That's what makes the world of film and television so exciting and unpredictable. The actors are ready, but there's one crucial element missing, sound. Without sound effects, a movie or TV series can fall flat, leaving the audience feeling like something is missing. That's where the art of sound recording comes in. Recording sound effects for movies and series is a complex and fascinating process that involves a team of skilled professionals working together to create an immersive audio experience. These sound designers and Foley artists have the power to transport us to another world, to make us feel like we're right in the middle of the action. Imagine a scene where a character is walking through a forest. The rustling of leaves underfoot, the chirping of birds, the distant sound of a stream. All of these sounds must be carefully recorded and layered to create a realistic and immersive audio experience. Foley artists use a variety of props and equipment to recreate these sounds in a studio setting, from crunching celery to simulate the sound of breaking bones, to using a towel and a pair of shoes to create the sound of footsteps on different surfaces. But sound recording isn't just about creating realistic sound effects. It's also about using sound to convey emotion and tell a story. A simple piano melody can tug at our heartstrings, while a sudden blast of music can make us jump out of our seats. Sound effects can create tension and even make us laugh. One of the most challenging aspects of recording sound effects for movies and series is capturing the sounds of real-life situations. Imagine trying to record the sound of a car crash or a thunderstorm. It's not exactly practical to wait around for these events to occur naturally. That's where sound designers come in, using a combination of recorded sounds and special effects to create the desired effect. The art of sound recording is constantly evolving, with new technologies and techniques emerging all the time. From the use of binaural recording, to the development of virtual reality sound design, the possibilities are endless. Moreover, sound effects are not limited to just adding realism or emotional depth to a scene. They can also be used to create a sense of time and place. For instance, the sound of a rotary phone dialing can transport us back to the past, while the crackling of vinyl can evoke the nostalgia of a bygone era. But despite these advancements, there is still a significant amount of skill and artistry involved in recording sound effects for movies and series. It takes years of practice and experience to master the art of Foley, to understand the physics of sound, and to know which microphone and recording techniques to use for different situations. 
filmmaking is a collaborative process that involves many individuals, each with their own unique creative vision and input. While this can lead to amazing works of art, it can also result in conflicts between actors and directors during filming. The conflicts can start before the cameras even start rolling, during the pre-production stage. Directors have a clear idea of the story they want to tell and the characters they want to bring to life. However, actors may have their own interpretation of the characters they are playing, which may not align with the director's vision. This can result in disagreements about how the character should be portrayed, from their physical appearance to their personality and mannerisms. Once filming begins, conflicts can arise over the direction of scenes. Directors may ask actors to deliver lines or perform actions in a certain way, but actors may not agree with the direction given. They may feel that their interpretation of the scene is more accurate or that the direction is not in line with their character's motivations. This can lead to tension and frustration on set, as both parties try to achieve their desired outcome. Another factor that can lead to conflicts is the actor's ego. Actors who have achieved success and acclaim may have a strong sense of self and their abilities. This can result in clashes with the director, who may feel that the actor is not following their vision or taking direction well. Similarly, directors may have a strong sense of their own creative vision, which can result in conflicts with actors who feel that their own ideas are not being taken seriously. Conflicts can also arise due to differences in working styles. Some actors may prefer to rehearse extensively before filming a scene, while others may prefer to improvise and work on the fly. Similarly, directors may have different approaches to filming, with some preferring to shoot multiple takes to capture a range of performances, while others prefer to shoot fewer takes and rely on post-production editing. While conflicts between actors and directors during filming can be difficult, they can also be constructive. When both parties are open to feedback and willing to compromise, conflicts can lead to a stronger, more nuanced final product. However, it's important for both actors and directors to communicate openly and respectfully, in order to prevent conflicts from becoming destructive or derailing the entire production. Movies and series are a multi-billion dollar industry that captivates audiences all over the world. They offer us a way to escape from reality, a chance to experience different worlds, and a form of entertainment that is unlike anything else. However, despite the success of the industry, the question remains, do movies and series always pay off? On the surface, it might seem like movies and series are always profitable. After all, blockbuster films can generate hundreds of millions of dollars at the box office. However, the reality is that the industry is incredibly unpredictable, and success is far from guaranteed. For starters, the cost of producing a movie or series can be astronomical. A single film can cost tens of millions of dollars to produce, and the same goes for series. This means that even a minor box office disappointment or a dip in ratings can have a significant impact on the profitability of a project. Another challenge is the issue of distribution. Streaming platforms like Netflix and Amazon Prime Video have disrupted the traditional movie and series distribution model. And while they can offer significant sums of money for the rights to stream content, the producers and studios don't always see a direct return on investment. Additionally, piracy remains a significant problem, with illegal downloads and streams costing the industry billions of dollars in lost revenue each year. Even when a movie or series is successful, the profits aren't always distributed evenly among all stakeholders. For example, actors and directors can command enormous salaries, which can eat into a project's profitability. Similarly, the studio or production company may take a significant cut of the profits, leaving other stakeholders with less money than they expected. Despite these challenges, the movie and series industry continues to thrive. The potential for massive financial returns, the allure of fame and artistic expression, and the love of storytelling are all factors that keep the industry moving forward. While some projects may fail to recoup their production costs or disappoint at the box office, the industry as a whole remains a vital and dynamic part of our culture. When it comes to filming a movie or TV show, everything is planned out down to the smallest detail. Scripts are written and rehearsed, sets are designed and constructed, and actors are cast and costumed. However, even with all this planning, there is always room for improvisation. In fact, some of the most iconic moments in film and television history were the result of improvisation. The art of improvisation is a powerful tool in the hands of a skilled actor. 
But what exactly is improvisation, and how does it work on a film set? At its core, improvisation is the act of spontaneously creating something in the moment, without prior planning or preparation. In the context of acting, this might involve coming up with a new line of dialogue on the spot, reacting in an unexpected way to a scene partner, or even improvising an entire scene from scratch. Despite the challenges, many actors embrace the opportunity to improvise on set. For some, improvisation is a way to inject spontaneity and energy into their performances, while for others, it's a chance to push themselves creatively and take risks. The beauty of improvisation is that it can take many forms. Sometimes, it's a simple ad-libbed line that adds a touch of humor or pathos to a scene. Other times, it's an entirely new scene that arises from a moment of inspiration on set. And then there are those moments of pure chaos, when an actor goes off script, and everyone else has to scramble to keep up. But no matter what form it takes, improvisation is always thrilling to watch. It's a chance to see actors at their most creative and daring, pushing the boundaries of what's possible on screen. Of course, not all directors are fans of improvisation. Some prefer to stick to the script, fearing that too much improvisation will throw off the pacing or tone of a scene. Others welcome it with open arms, knowing that the best moments in film and television often happen when actors are given the freedom to play. The world of cinema has undergone a tremendous transformation in recent years. With advancements in technology and the changing needs of moviegoers, the film industry has had to adapt to remain relevant. Gone are the days when a simple plot and good acting were enough to please audiences. Today's moviegoers demand more from their cinematic experience, and filmmakers have had to respond accordingly. One of the most significant changes in the needs of moviegoers has been the rise of immersive experiences. Today's audiences want to be fully engrossed in the story they're watching, and filmmakers have responded with cutting-edge special effects, 3D technology, and high-definition screens. The result is a more intense and engaging cinematic experience that allows viewers to feel as though they are a part of the action. Another key change in the needs of moviegoers is the desire for diverse representation. In the past, Hollywood was notorious for its lack of diversity, with films often featuring primarily white, male protagonists. Today's audiences want to see themselves reflected on the big screen, and filmmakers have responded with more diverse casting and storytelling. The rise of streaming services has also impacted the needs of moviegoers. With the convenience of on-demand viewing, moviegoers have come to expect more options and flexibility in their cinematic experience. Streaming services have responded by creating their own content and offering a wider range of films and TV shows than traditional cinemas. This has created more opportunities for independent filmmakers and has given audiences access to a wider range of stories. Finally, social media has had a significant impact on the needs of moviegoers. Today's audiences are more connected than ever, and social media has made it easier for them to share their thoughts and opinions on films. This has created a demand for more socially conscious and politically aware films. As audiences want to see stories that reflect their values and beliefs, filmmakers who can meet these needs are sure to thrive in this rapidly evolving industry. The film industry is an enigma that can be as unpredictable as it is fascinating. It's a world where a small, low-budget indie flick can become an instant classic, while a multi-million dollar blockbuster can be a colossal flop. But what is it that makes some films soar while others crash and burn? At the heart of every successful film is a compelling story. A good story is the foundation on which a film is built, and it's what keeps the audience engaged from start to finish. A well-told story can transport us to another world, introduce us to fascinating characters, and make us feel a range of emotions, from joy and laughter to fear and sadness. But a great story alone isn't enough to guarantee success. Timing is also crucial. A film that comes out at the right time, when the public is hungry for something new and exciting, can become an instant hit. For example, a horror film released just before Halloween is more likely to do well than one released in the middle of summer. Marketing also plays a huge role in determining a film's success. A well-executed marketing campaign can generate buzz and anticipation, getting people excited about the film before it's even released. On the other hand, a film that's poorly marketed can slip under the radar and be forgotten. The casting of a film is also critical. A big-name actor or actress can draw in audiences and give the film a sense of credibility. 
A talented cast can elevate even the most mediocre of scripts, while a weak cast can sink a potentially great film. Directors are also instrumental in the success of a film. A skilled director can take a good script and turn it into a masterpiece, while a less experienced director can ruin a great story. A director's vision, style, and ability to work with actors can make or break a film. The director's style is another critical factor that can make or break a film. Each director has a unique style that distinguishes them from others. Some directors have a particular genre that they excel in, while others have a specific visual or storytelling style that sets them apart. A director's style can help create a memorable film that stands out in the crowded landscape of movies. Finally, there's the intangible factor of luck. Sometimes a film just strikes a chord with audiences, becoming a cultural phenomenon that no one could have predicted. Other times, a film that seems like a surefire hit can fail for reasons that no one can explain. There's something truly magical about going to a movie premiere at the cinema. From the moment you step inside, you can feel the anticipation in the air. It's as if everyone is waiting for something incredible to happen, and they know that they're in the right place to experience it. The walls are adorned with movie posters and bright, colorful lights flicker above your head. It's as if the cinema is preparing to transport you to a different world entirely. And as you make your way to your seat, you can't help but feel a sense of excitement bubbling up inside you. As the lights dim, you settle into your chair and allow yourself to be carried away by the magic of the big screen. Every detail, every sound, and every moment is designed to pull you deeper into the story unfolding before your eyes. And when the movie finally begins, you're completely swept away. You're no longer in a cinema, you're in a different world entirely. You're living and breathing the story along with the characters, feeling every emotion as if it were your own. But it's not just the movie itself that makes the experience so special. It's the shared sense of wonder and excitement that permeates the entire cinema. The gasps, the laughs, and the cheers all add to the experience, making it feel like a communal event. And when the movie finally ends, you're left feeling like you've been on a wild adventure. You leave the cinema feeling a sense of joy, wonder, and satisfaction. It's an experience unlike any other, and one that you'll always treasure. In a world where we're all so busy and distracted, Going to a movie premiere offers a chance to slow down and reconnect with the magic of cinema. It's a reminder that stories can transport us, that movies can inspire us, and that shared experiences can bring us together. The movie industry is a bustling hive of activity, with countless individuals working tirelessly behind the scenes to bring stories to life on the big screen. It's a massive undertaking, and a huge team of people is necessary to ensure everything runs smoothly. But what exactly goes into the production of a film and series? A film crew is made up of a multitude of departments, each with its own specific tasks and responsibilities. From production design to costume and makeup, from cinematography to sound design, there are countless elements that need to be taken care of in order to create a successful film. And each department has its own team of skilled professionals, all working in unison to make the vision of the director a reality. It's a bit like a well-oiled machine, with each individual part working in harmony with the others. But it's not just about everyone doing their own thing, communication is key. Every department must be in constant contact with one another to ensure everything is cohesive and working towards the same goal. And it's not just the different departments that need to be in sync. The director and producer must also work closely together to ensure the film or series stays on track and meets their vision. There's a real sense of camaraderie amongst film crews. With long hours and tight deadlines, it's important for everyone to be able to rely on each other and work together as a team. And with the adrenaline rush that comes with the excitement of creating something special, it's not uncommon to see smiles on everyone's faces, even after a grueling day on set. It's not just the actors that bring a film or series to life, it's the army of skilled professionals working behind the scenes, each doing their own part to create something truly special. It's a massive undertaking, but with the right team and the right attitude, anything is possible. And let's not forget the countless hours of pre-production work that go into a film before a single camera is even turned on. From scriptwriting to casting, location scouting to storyboard creation, the preparation stage is just as important as the actual filming. Without a solid plan in place, a film can quickly fall apart. And that's where the expertise of the producers and other pre-production staff comes in. 
As the filming process comes to a close, the post-production team takes over. This is where the footage is edited, special effects are added, and the sound design is finalized. It's a crucial stage, and one that can often make or break a film. In the end, a successful film is the result of countless hours of hard work and dedication from a huge team of people. From the pre-production stage to the final edit, every department must work together in order to create something truly special. And while it's not always easy, the end result is more than worth it. When we watch a movie or TV show, we are transported into another world, captivated by the story unfolding before us. But have you ever wondered how many takes it takes to make a scene just right? The answer may surprise you. Filmmaking is a complex process that involves a team of professionals working together to bring a story to life. From the director to the actors to the crew, everyone plays a vital role in making sure that every shot is perfect. And sometimes, that means taking multiple takes. The number of takes required for a scene can vary depending on a variety of factors. For example, if the scene involves complicated choreography or stunts, it may require more takes to ensure that everyone is safe and the action looks realistic. Similarly, if the scene requires a lot of emotional depth from the actors, they may need to do multiple takes to get into the right headspace and deliver the performance that the director is looking for. But even seemingly simple scenes can require multiple takes. For instance, a scene that involves two characters sitting at a table having a conversation may seem straightforward, but there are many variables to consider. Is the lighting just right? Are the actors delivering their lines with the right tone and emotion? Is the camera angle capturing the right moments? All of these factors can impact how many takes are needed to get the perfect shot. And while some scenes may only require a handful of takes, others can require dozens or even hundreds. It all depends on the director's vision for the scene and the level of perfection that they are striving for.